Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lois, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. In the last episode, we got this cool one. Um, we killed our first wither and our second wither, and we made a warding charm focus, technically, uh, which makes these blocks completely impenetrable. However, we didn't get the thing I wanted, which is the division sigil. So, we're going to try once more. Uh, the reason being is I heard a rumor. Uh, I went and looked it up and s tried to see if anybody else had problems with the wither not dropping the division sigil. Uh, it turns out in this version it's not that it doesn't drop it, it's that there seems to be an issue with uh, the Tinker Constructs bow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sneaky out here. Uh, and I've heard that if you one-shot the wither, he will not drop the division sigil. So we're gonna we're gonna try to two-shot him by just coming in here and hitting him, and then shoot him. So we still didn't get it. All right. Well, I guess I have to finish him off with the sword. Uh, I guess the Tinker's Construct bow is just too powerful. Uh, that's what I've heard anyway, is that uh, it, if you one-shot him with the bow, uh, you won't get it. So rather than just standing there and hitting us, hitting him with our sword, we're going to get the Division Sigil another way. Which is something I want to do anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put all of my wands in here, and we are going to work with Batania again. Uh, so do I have a platform? I do. Perfect. Um, we're probably going to end up moving a lot of our... Um, power generation uh, relatively soon. So, we... Uh, let's see. I would love to have... Can I get this to start making a ME terminal? Uh, I have a storage monitor. Can I make, like, a hundred of those? I sure can. Uh, and what I'm going to want real quick is the ME terminal crafting terminal. Uh, I would like the crafting terminal. Uh, so we're going to need calculation processor and both cores. Uh, we're going to need one of these, which we can't make because we told the system to make a whole bunch of those. Uh, hopefully that looks like it's messed up. Did I disconnect that? I don't think I did. Oh no, they're going through. Okay, so presumably it's working. And yep, it is, cool. So um, we are also working on the logic processors and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna need, ah, here in a moment, one of these guys and another one of these. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to run uh, a simple wire, uh, any glass cable. Uh, and I just want to get a little bit of something over here so that we can have access to our entire system um, easily and not have to worry about it. So uh, we'll just do this. And let's see, where would be a good place to put this? I think, honestly, right here. So uh, I'll need the stone brick facade, but we'll get that here in a second. Shouldn't be too much of an issue to do. And we'll be able to make our stuff. So uh, facade, stone brick, uh, one will be enough. And let's see, do we have everything to make this? So we still need a illuminated panel. So we need quartz glass. Should not be a problem to make. Almost instantaneous. And then there's the ME terminal. We just need a workbench or rather a crafting table. I can never remember which it is called. Um, for a lot of players, especially players that remember the time before uh, there was actually like official names, 
uh, you kind of made up your own names for everything. And I was craft called it a crafting table uh, rather than a workbench, just because that's what I always heard. Um, but anyways, uh, that is not the way it's actually named. So unfortunately, the struggle is real. So uh, we'll just do this and put a crafting table, a crafting terminal here. And we have access to our entire inventory over here as well. So uh, this is mostly the flower stuff. Um, I do have some petals in here that I could, you know, take a stack of each out and, you know, fill this up a little bit, but not really that necessary. Uh, depending on how many flowers and petals and all that kind of stuff we need, uh, we'll worry about it then. But we have access to everything, so we can start working on getting more stuff. Uh, now, one of the first things I'm going to want to make... Now, um, if we look at the quest book, the quest book is a little sparse in the Batania area, um, which would be down Botanical Engineering. Uh, we've already done a lot of the quests. Um, we need to get the Botanical Brewery. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, we need to get the Elven Mana Spreader, uh, which is going to require us to get the... That th this quest is a lot lar uh, longer than it would look, um, because the elven mana spreader requires uh, mana. Elven mana spreader requires dreamwood and elementium, both of which are only accessible. Uh, not in the uh, yeah, you can't actually see how to get it. Um, they're only accessible from a portal, which if we look at our but. Lexica Batania. Um, there should be uh, Alphomancy, the portal to Alfheim. Um, we'll need eight living wood, three glimmering living wood, one elven gateway core, two mana pools, and two natura pylons. However, it's going to require terra steel. So we have to do things to make terra steel as well. Uh, can we make sparks? Uh, that should be something I want to look at right away. Uh, we just need some petals. Let's just take a stack of petals and manatize them. Or, you know, just a few. We can take, turn our jetpack off now. And there we go. Bunch of mana petals. Uh, mana petals are used for a lot of stuff, so... Having a couple extras would not be a bad thing. And we're going to actually make three sparks for now. Um, can we use the gold coins? Nope. You know what we should do? Uh, let's go ahead and teach the system. And let's just throw them in. Um, I'm going to take these gold coins and I'm just going to smelt them up. Because that is the easiest way to make gold nuggets uh, and that that's pretty much it uh, so sparks are another way of moving mana around and basically we're gonna want a good number of them for right now uh, I think f four will be enough um, we're gonna put one uh, so you place them right on top of your mana pools they will not go on the runic altar, unfortunately. You have to use a mana spreader to put mana into the runic altar. But these guys will allow us to move mana around. And we can use some augments later uh, to do some really cool things. So we'll get to that point soon enough. Now we're also going to need a terrestrial... If I can spell it. Terrestrial... Uh, agglomeration plate. Okay, it's two Gs. Uh, this guy. So we need a block of mana steel, a rune of fire, air, earth, and water, plus a rune of mana, some lapis, and some other things. So lapis, we're, we are going to need eight blocks, seven blocks, seven blocks. And we're also going to need to grab living wood and living stone. Now those things we should honestly, you know what, we're going to automate those real quick. Um, what's going to be the best way to automate those? Do we have Steve's factory? No. Um, I want to see if we have a factory manager. Nope. 
Uh, so, what's going to be the best way to do this? Uh, we could do... We could do destruction plates and stuff. Um, hmm. That's going to take a lot of channels, though. So we're going to want some emmy cables that are a little bit larger. Some dents. Let's take, like, 20 of those. And let's see. How many channels do we have down here? We could honestly take a bunch. Um... So is that the only thing that's on a channel? It would appear as such. Um, we're gonna need 16 channels for this. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of Emmy cables. And we well, we don't need 16 channels, but uh, 16 channels would be the easiest way to go about this. So let's get our uh, wrench out, our crescent hammer. Be a little bit nicer about this. All right, so we're gonna do this as close as we can to uh, the rest of this. And honestly, we're just gonna, if we can stop right here, that would be awesome. Three, two. We had exactly enough. Cool. Um, so we can pull off of this guy a couple times. Uh, let's break th these two. So we do something like that, and then we can pull this and this. All right. So um, we have eight channels on the top and the bottom. We should be able to do this. So that's going to require us to make some more stuff. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to teach the system how to make a couple things. Um, we need to know how to make two different planes. Uh, annihilation plane. So that. And a formation plane, which requires the formation core. So we need to create one of those real quick. Uh, and basically what this is going to allow us to do is, I, I've, okay, I'll be honest, I've never used these quite like this before, but we should be able to make a very compact system that basically will allow us to both um, insert and output stuff. Uh, doesn't, it will make sense. And I don't know, uh, I don't know how I want to do this though. Because there's a couple different ways. We could have it just kind of do its thing, or we could have it um... hmm. We need some sort of block placer and block breaker. You know, that might be easier. Block placer. Because there is a block placer from Mine Factory Reloaded. It uses power though. Um, block breaker also uses power. All right, so I think this is going to be the easier way. Um, whether or not it's the better way is up for debate. Um, but we'll just put these down here. And we'll just make eight of each and we'll come back to that so um, we need our pure daisy for one and if we can do something kind of special with it where is our pure daisy there it is all right we already did the special thing so I don't have to worry about that we have a floating pure daisy um, we're going to need uh, cables And we'll just pop downstairs for a second. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have formation planes and annihilation planes. Uh, that will... Basically, what's going to happen is... Um, there's going to be... One, two, three... Actually, no. Three. Three was right. 
Uh, we're gonna have the pure daisy in the center doing his thing and we're going to have a row of stuff like this so that we can basically uh, yeah it's gonna be easier to do this I think um, basically run the formation planes and the annihilation planes to automatically place and destroy whatever blocks we want. Uh, that's kind of the key. So I'm going to need one stone brick facade. Uh, not cover, facade. One of these. And we're going to want some more ME cable. And our annihilation planes and formation planes are here. So that part is good. Um, and what we can do, we're going to need uh, wood, stone, living rock, and living wood. And uh, you know what, we're going to put the formation planes here. Not like that. Uh, I don't want to lose this. Um, no, okay. These guys are just going to place whatever, aren't they? Um, blocks. And we're going to tell it to place stone. So we're going to have four of these guys who will place stone. Presumably. And then we're going to have four that will place three, four, um, four that will place wood. And they have these cool little effects. It's actually really, these are really neat. If these work how I want them to, uh, and then we can just put this guy like so. And the device is online priority. I think this is what I want. So let's go ahead and put. Hey, cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure how these will work, but then we'll have another line that will. Uh, basically come down and place annihilation planes on top of them. And I don't know how to place these effectively. Um, so can I just do it like that? Yes. So if these guys wanted to work Priority, high priority. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get these guys to work the way I want them to. Uh, so, I mean, we're using nine channels. That's right. Um, we have plenty of oak wood in there. Uh, what are we going to need to do? Do these guys require a redstone signal? I know that redstone signals can do things to the these guys. No. Okay. Um, what if we put a redstone signal on that? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure that out. For now, um... What can we do? Do we have more cable? And then I need a cable anchor, just a single one. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work. So uh, this is the basic gist of it is putting these guys down and we'll want a cable anchor right here. So that these guys don't connect. Uh, and then 
ideally, once these guys get a channel, they should immediately break everything. So uh, the thing is, is anything I put here will immediately get broken. So do these guys not have interfaces? Um, all right, so it's going to be more complicated than it looks. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we'll come back to that. Uh, that is, yeah, definitely going to be more complicated than it looks. So I'll have to think about that one and kind of mess around with it a little bit more than I have. Um, but let's grab this stuff. And we don't really have any living wood, living, yeah, we're going to need some more stuff. Uh, so, let's just break that for now. And we can place all of our blocks. And once it becomes, once they change, um, we'll, we'll grab the, uh, the living wood, the living rock, rather. So... Yeah, let's see. What is next? We have fire runes. We have water runes. We have a single air rune, but I'd like to make more. So we're going to want to make um, earth. Yes, we're going to need earth. And that requires three mana steel. Um, plus five. So we need 11 mana steel right now. Uh, so let's go ahead... And just get a bunch of mana steel. Not too difficult. Uh, we're going to need a block of mana steel for one. And then 11. So something like that. All right. We are also going to need for the rune of mana requires a mana pearl. So do I have many ender pearls? I do have a decent number. Uh, let's go ahead and make all these ender pearls uh, mana pearls. And then it is five and one. Is that not the rune of mana? One, two, three, four, five, and one. One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, that's right, that's right. I forgot. Um, I need my wand. Different versions. You have to start it off first. Uh, and we're going to need that living rock. So is it completed yet? It is. So what we can do is just go ahead and connect it. And it should break all of those blocks. There we go. Cool. So I will figure out a way to get that to work um, between episodes. And it's something that I need, I've wanted to do. So we need to throw... Living Rock, and smack it, and there's Rune Mana. So now we need three of these guys. Um, plus, what do we need for Earth? Mushroom, Coal Block, and Stone. So, Stone is easy. I heard it just play something. Uh, mushroom, and Coal Block. At least I swear it just placed something down there. And activate it. I forgot. I forgot. So I'm just going to take a, keep an eye on this for a second. Um, I don't know if there's any formation planes. So capacity card, fuzzy card, inverter card. Um, I believe this will, hmm, I, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that, uh, just because there's, there's a lot of things that are going to cause us problems with this. Uh, one of them is that the, the, uh, the, the annihilation planes don't have an inventory, so you can't filter them, uh, but we need to filter them if we want them to, to, like, only, like, selectively pick things to do, so... Uh, the last thing we need is an air shard. So let's go ahead and get that, or rune of air rather, string feather carpet. String 
feather, both pretty easy, and carpet. We don't have any carpet, but we should have plenty of wool. Uh, I don't believe it matters, but let's just use white. Okay, so uh, once again, all of those plus that, smack it, and get started. So, um, mana pearls go in here. We do have one terrace deal. How did we get? How did we get that terrace deal? It must have been a reward. Um, I'm gonna guess from one of these. Or not. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, we need to make all the stuff. Anyways, so I don't think I have a terrestrial conglomeration plate. I don't see one. Uh, there's some carpet in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the carpet back in there. <sighs> yeah, I don't see anything like that. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up Yeah, right here. Seems like a good enough place. Uh, and we'll put the other thing over there. Uh, now, eventually, we might move all of our mana production down below. Uh, if we do, it's because Sparks. But 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And all we need to do is a checkerboard pattern. Um, we still need to make the, the actual agglomeration plate, but we need to get this done as well. So we need to do that. And then if we just shift click, and there we go. Terrestrial agglomeration plate. And now if we put a spark on this, uh, it should if we smack it with that. Yes, it sees this guy. Now this takes a whopping half a mana pool in order to make one Terra Steel. Now we already have a Terra Steel, so I'm not going to make it quite yet because not really a need to. So... Uh, let's get the rest of the stuff since we do have the one terrace deal. We needed to make that anyways. Um, we are going to need more living rock. So let's just get this going. And yeah, I can't wait to have that automated. It's going to be so much nicer. Um, so if we want to make this guy we're gonna need living wood how much living wood do we have we have eight that might be close to enough uh so we're gonna have to destroy this guy into ingots or nuggets rather and there is the elven gateway core that is a difficult part uh and then we're gonna need two mana pylons uh so let's just do mana pylon this is not a difficult recipe we are going to need two and two. And yeah, four diamonds are fine. Uh, and just throw those in there. And make two mana pylons. And then we're going to have to upgrade those with Eye Vendor. So Ender Pearl plus Blaze Powder. And then we should be able to make the Natura pylons. And it sounds like our uh, living rock just transformed. Let's just pop back down here and tell it to break. Tell it to break all of it. And there it goes. Cool. So when we uh, do make this stuff, uh, hopefully it will be toggleable so that we can kind of tell it how much of each to keep, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. So we need to make a mana pool. So we make the diluted mana pool because it's an old version of Batania. Throw it into the mana pool with a little bit of mana and there we go. So we have that, we have that, we have the gateway core. Um, we have the sparks we need for that. Now we just need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight living wood. 
So it looks like we're doing this again. And... Once we have the eight living wood, we will also need three more that is glimmering. So, grab that. Let's see, this all can go back in there. And we need the glimmering living wood, which I believe is just a piece of glowstone. Yes. So one, two, three. So I believe we just need three of those and that should be pretty much it. So we're, we can visualize this, which is really neat, um, to basically put it wherever we want. And we're gonna put it over here. And there we go. So we can start placing some of the stuff while we wait for everything else. And uh, the other thing we're gonna want to do is put sparks on here. Um, now the sparks will eventually float up um, and they can't see the other guy yet. Uh, we'll fix that soon enough. So we put gateway core there. Actually, you know, let's move this back one. And the reason being is because we're gonna want to we're gonna want this a little bit. Um, move it back to actually all right this will be better uh, the reason being is we're gonna be throwing items through this and I don't want to lose those items because that would be bad uh, so gateway core and we'll build the the portal here in a moment uh, do I have a bed over here yet no I should move my bed you know what it's night let's move our bed real quick uh, just to make things a little bit nicer um, get rid of this rain I hate the rain and we're just gonna put the bed up here he's gonna go over here that'll work cool so once we get the elven gateway core um well once we get the elven gateway taken care of uh then we'll be able to make uh pretty much everything in Batania uh there is a couple of things that we won't be able to make but they're few and far between so uh, I need some cobblestone and so living uh, living wood goes all around and it's it's a pretty easy it, it's basically a nether portal but made out of other things actually no it's not it's different but the structure is now complete and there's different ways we can um, affect this and I think for the time being I do want to go ahead because uh, I don't think these guys no he can't see these guys which is actually good for right now um, so we're gonna want to add a little bit of mana to both of these mana pools and uh, just a shift click will say actually no I don't want shift click I want to keep it like that so we just throw some mana in there and we need like a quarter of a pool mana pool so let's grab the other mana tablet um, this passive generation is working out quite nicely for us um, Which is good because it's it's pretty much exactly what I want it to be. Um, but before we can really do too much more, uh, let's go ahead and get a bunch of mana. And what we're gonna want uh, for the lunium is um, we're gonna need some ender pearls, the mana pearls, and that's used up basically all of the mana. So we'll throw that in there. Throw that in there for a little bit. Uh, and we'll come back and grab the rest of it. So let's see. We're going to want mana pearls. We're going to want uh, a bit of... Wow, that is way too much. 
All right, we'll put the rest in there and then we'll extract some of that. Because that is way too much mana in there. Okay, that's got plenty. All right, so that'll work. Um, so we're going to need a little bit more living wood. Uh, which is not a problem. Again, we'll have to... We'll have to do the whole fly down and all that kind of stuff, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what I need is like a redstone signal, I think, or something to turn these off, or I don't know. Um, there's There's got to be an easy way to automate this. I just don't know it off the top of my head to make it, so can't do it right now. Uh, but anyways, we're also going to need some mana steel. Uh, we'll take eight of those. Um, are these both empty? Looks like it. So throw those in there. And now we're going to be running out of mana. So <laughs> that is both a good and a bad thing. Um, good because about time. Um... I think, I think something that once we have access to all of the stuff that we need, uh, we are going to just go straight in, um, and remove a lot of. Uh, we're gonna move all of the mana production downstairs, and have a lot of mana production. Because that guy doesn't actually have a mana spreader. So you know what? Let's let's give them a mana spreader. And I think I can do this. Point him there. And that should... Oh, uh, do you only activate... I think you only activate when you have stuff. Um, so we'll put him in there. Honestly, we're going to get rid of this chest because uh, with the ME system right next to it, I uh, don't really need it. So that is all living wood. And we're just gonna do one of these. So um, I need to figure this guy out. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that between episodes and I think I'm also going to start working on getting the manas down there. Um, we're gonna stop using day blooms and nightshades and only use hydrangeas uh, because they are so useful. They're so effective. Um, but we have a little bit of living wood as well. So let's go ahead and activate this guy. And this is the portal. Um, first thing you should throw in is your Lexipitania, which will get thrown back out. And you'll have a message from the elves. Um, basically, they tell them they tell you that they put a bunch of stuff in your um, uh, Alexia Batania, just to try to help you along with all of their knowledge and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, we want to throw basically all of this stuff in there, and we're going to get a bunch of things back. Um, we got some Elementium, which is good. Um, we could probably get a little bit more of that if we wanted. Uh, I think the most important thing right now is going to be the Pixie Dust, uh, because I believe that's what's needed for the spark augments yes uh, so let's get a little bit more pixie dust and that should be good so what we're gonna do um, this is not advised because it takes a decent amount of mana to uh, open the portal but it doesn't take that much to maintain it uh, however it does require some mana I don't plan on using it anytime soon so we'll just dismantle the portal and open it as needed. Um, so now we should be able to go ahead and make the Elven Mana Spreader. And there is one of them. Um, now obviously we're gonna need to make a lot more later, but that is a quest. We're gonna get some more Terra Steel, which is awesome. And it opened up a quest somewhere else, probably down here. No? Okay. Um, not entirely sure, but that is basically the key to get into more of this stuff. So, um, 
this mana spreader is so much better. Um, let's actually do one of these. We're going to put that there. Actually, probably put it down one. And uh, we're going to tell this to point at that. And can you see him? You can. Perfect. And we just get rid of the uh, the the stuff and tell him that there is a guy here. Can you just shoot into that? That'll work. Uh, actually, can you hit that? Okay. So, we'll see if that works. And hopefully it does. Um, something else we could probably do. Break this guy. Tell him to go there. Tell him to go there. And then we can put this mana spreader just like right here here. Uh, I'm going to be changing this up very soon, so it's not that big of a deal. We're just going to tell all of these guys to go to this. And that's not going to work. He's in the way. So can we put him like here? Will that work? All right, that works for now. Um, so basically, I'm going to spend some time trying to figure out how to automate the day bloom uh, with applied energistics. And the other thing that I'm going to work on between episodes is probably getting ready to move this stuff. I'll probably make a whole bunch more hydrangeas. Uh, you guys have seen that before. Uh, hydrangeas are just blue and pink and cyan. Um, petals, so I'll make like a bunch of those, and we'll have um, we'll have a system set up as I will show in the next episode. So and we'll work on that next time. Um, the big thing is automating living wood, living rock, uh, so that we can get a bunch of stuff through the portal. Now, can we make the infinite mana pool? No, dang. Um, there was there was hope. But uh, real quick, let's see, there's one last thing. So the Botanical Brewery, can we make that? Rune of Mana. All right, do we have the stuff to make that? Three, four, five. And that and that. Smack it. Uh, how much living rock do we have? We have five. So if we go downstairs and do the thing that we've been doing, um, we should be able to do this relatively quickly. It is going to take a block of uh, mana steel, but that's fine. It's not that hard to get mana steel. Um, this is done already. So pop that there, smack that. There is the Rune of Mana. Ah, uh, let's see, what else do we need? We need a Brewing Stand. Ah, uh, can we make that? Do I have, I do have a Blaze Rod. Cool, I have 87 Blaze Rods, 88. How am I getting Blaze Rods? Um. Recipe. Uh, I can make them through that, but, okay, whatever, I have blaze rods, that's, that's what matters, uh, I'm going to put those in there, and what was the other thing we need, uh, it's just a block of mana steel, so we'll take this block of iron, and can you make mana steel, you can, so assuming that, this is all living rock. Once this becomes all living rock, which should be here in a second, 
Uh, we should be able to make the botan botanical brewery. Uh, and then the only other thing left to make is the orchid. Um, what's the difference? No idea. Uh, the orchid, which involves a lot of stuff. Uh, more runes, which we can get to relatively soon. Uh, in fact, once we make uh, a first, a little bit more mana, we can make all the runes very easily. So we should be able to make the botanical brewery now. And that is a quest. And we'll get a flask of restoration. Uh, now this guy is pretty much exactly what you'd think. Um, we can put him like here if we ever want to use him. Uh, but he is used to make all of the potions. So like this guy, uh, if we look at the recipe, it's a gas tier nether wart redstone with mana glass vial or uh, this is actually an alf glass um, jug, I don't know, um, flask. And so alf glass is mana glass through the portal. Uh, and basically you just throw the stuff on there and give it mana and it will make whatever you want. So that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Um, next time, like I said, we were, uh, I'm going to work on getting some Batania stuff kind of reorganized and a little bit nicer, uh, make some more hydrangeas and get plenty of mana production, figure out the living rock, living wood situation. And next time, like I said, we will, um, continue on making towards the, uh, Lumium and probably the Orchid as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!